Hi, this is Will. I'd like to welcome you back to Kodo Soul. Uh, this is my second video. Got the first one out of the way. As many of you can tell, the first one was somewhat scripted. Um, so I'm going to try my best to make uh, all of the uh, coming videos uh, more free-flowing and more... Uh, more or less, so they're not scripted, because uh, I think it, that comes across uh, better to my audience, to you. Um, and uh, all these things are going to take some time, so please uh, bear with me. And I would like to thank those of you who uh, responded to my first video and gave me encouragement and gave me tips on how I could. Uh, make my videos and the website better and those will be taken into consideration and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Now, what I thought I would do uh, for the next five to eight episodes is tell you a little bit more about me uh, so you can get a little bit more comfortable with me and I can get more comfortable in front of the camera and I'm sure all of this will come very naturally as I get more practice. Um, and, you know, I wanted to really open myself up. And I thought uh, probably one of the, the first uh, ways to do that was to would be to let you know more about me, since you don't know very much about me. Uh, one thing I've been getting comments on um, that people would like for me to explain is uh, my breathing machine. Um, you know, like I said before, I have Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and it's it's a degenerative muscle uh, neuromuscular disease that uh, deteriorates uh, muscle uh, tissue over a period of time. And because of that, you know, uh, since it affects the muscles and the muscles require everything from moving to having your heart pumped and breathing to uh, many other things. Uh, because my muscles are so weak, uh, particularly my respiratory and my heart muscles, uh, I use this external breathing machine, you know, that, that's on me that you see uh, when I do my videos. And basically because my lungs are so weak, they need assistance breathing. And this machine is a non-invasive breathing machine. Uh, what that means is, uh, you know, it's external. I can take it off and on. It's, uh, it's not like a tracheotomy uh, where I have, a, a, you know, a tube uh, in my chest that regulates my, my breathing completely. Luckily, I still have some control over my breathing, uh, and this machine is called a BiPAP, by meaning two ways, that's B-I-P-A-P, -P. and, uh, basically whenever I breathe in, the machine pushes more air into me, so I can get a deeper breath, uh, you know, this, this is something that I use now, uh, pretty much, uh, 24 hours a day. I used to be able to breathe uh, on my own throughout the day and had to use this at night, but my, de my disease has progressed to the point where, you know, I need this all the time. Um, and, uh, you know, I really don't like the way it looks on me, but it's necessary. And uh, this is something I'm going to go into more in depth uh, as these episodes progress, and, um, you know, hopefully, uh, it will, uh, give those some insight on, uh, you know, what, what it's like for me in my daily life with my breathing. Uh, I also wanted to point out that, uh, there may be pauses in my videos, or, uh, short delays in my videos uh, when I'm trying to uh, 
to breathe to get air so I can talk to you. Uh, that, that, that does make the, uh, the video a little, a little more choppy and not as much slow, but hopefully it's something I can work on where, when my breathing machine gives me air, um, I can articulate to my audience in a, in a, in a fashion that's, uh, you know, free-flowing and, uh, not as stuttery and not as jagged. So, you know, I'm trying my best. And I just uh, wanted to let you know um, about this and and uh, why I wear this and um, try to get you a, a little bit more comfortable with me and me get a little bit more comfortable with you in front of the camera. And like I said, over the next uh, probably five to eight episodes, I'll be telling you more about me and what I can and can't do and why I'm coming to you and what I intend to do with this website. So, uh, until the next episode, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, and um, the email will be at the end of this video. The email address, or you could go to kodosoul.com and in the upper right hand corner there is a contact button and that will give you the various email addresses or ways that you can contact me. Uh, I hope your day is going okay. Uh, I hope it's uh, full of learning and new experiences and even if you're not having a great day, uh, just hang in there and make it through this day and you will see me again to, uh, probably tomorrow with another video and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, thank you.